nothing changes in a split. So value-wise, I'm talking value-wise, nothing changes. So if it pays 60 cents a dividend and it splits two for one, then the dividend goes to 30 cents and the share goes to uh, $200 instead of $400, Uh, whatever. whatever. Um, So nothing, nothing, there's no change in value. There's no losses for you because they split or there's no gain for you uh, because they split. Nothing, uh, it, it is a totally insignificant event for those who own the stock. For those that don't own it, the one of the reasons why they split is that it gives opportunity for um, more money to come into the company because people are more apt to buy a stock at 200 than they would be for 400. So they're going to get more buyers, more of the retail seller uh, buyers and more of even the wholesale buyers. They're going to uh, buy, buy more of it. If it's a stock that has a longstanding tradition of paying dividends, for instance, and they split, then definitely more people are likely to buy it because they're getting, they're getting, going to get more shares for that dividend. That even though it's a split dividend, to to pay on in the long run, it's going to be a good thing for them. There's no, there's no opportune time. I mean, I I don't pay. For instance, um, I have never paid attention. Which eh, may, I guess there's probably times where you know. I wish I had had, I don't remember, but I don't pay attention to, I'm not, I'm not encouraging people not to pay attention to it, but I don't pay attention to ex dividend dates and when dividends getting paid it to me, uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, irrelevant. I'm buying a stock that is a long-term hold, um, you know, uh, uh, paying, getting a dividend that quarter or not is somewhat irrelevant to me. So, um, I, I, I'm buying for other reasons, not, not because of that. Uh, cause I've had people call me and say, Oh, they just paid the dividend. You know, why didn't you put it on the, your, your list? Um, you know, last, last week. Well, I, you know, I don't look at that. I, I don't, I don't even, I don't give it much consideration. So, right. um, just because of the type of my, the, the way my strategy is structured. So I, I don't think, I always do believe though, the one advantage, and I try to qualify this, I don't know where you are in this, but I try to qualify this when I talk about a splits. I don't, I mean, like I said, nothing changes. Values are all the same. At the end of the day, everything's the same. You didn't make any more money. You didn't lose any money. Everything's the same. Um, so I, I say, unless you're an income investor. So if you're an income investor, the opportunity to double the amount of shares you have is always an advantage because um, there is a possibility or a likelihood, I would say, that over the next couple of years, they will increase their dividend, even if it's a penny. So you're going to get a penny more on a lot more shares, and it'll be advantageous uh, for you. For you. So um, I think it's always good because if you're an income investor, I just love the notion of accumulating shares. You know, it's very healthy to have that mindset. So uh, I like that for income investors. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.